Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover rational numbers on a number line. Specifically, we're going to identify rational numbers graphed on a number line. Now remember, rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction of two integers. The decimal form either terminates or repeats. If you need more help with what rational numbers are, I have a video covering this. That link is in the description. Now for this video, we have two number lines with rational numbers graphed on them. We need to identify, we need to figure out what those numbers are. Let's jump into our examples, starting with numbers one through five. Looking at this number line, and any number line really, we need to understand that if we look at zero, we have positives to the right and negatives to the left. So starting at zero, positives to the right, negatives to the left. Now as far as moving along a number line, moving right or up a number line, we increase in value. Moving to the left or down a number line, we decrease in value. Now before we jump into number one, we need to figure out what we're working with as far as how this number line is presented. Well, the lowest number in value shown on the number line is negative three. And then the highest value shown on the number line is positive three. In between each number, the number line is split into four sections, fourths. So this number line is showing fourths. So if we look at zero and we go right, we have one fourth, two fourths, which is one half, three fourths, one, one and one fourth, one and a half, one and three fourths, two, and so on. And if we look at zero and go left, we have negative one fourth, negative two fourths, which is negative one half, negative three fourths, negative one, negative one and one fourth, negative one and a half, negative one and three fourths, negative two, and so on. Looking at number one, we have point A. So where is point A on the number line? Well, point A is right here, and it is at negative two. So point A is at negative two on the number line. Next, we have point B, which is right here. So B is in between zero and one. We have one fourth, two fourths, or one half, and then three fourths. So point B is at one fourth on the number line. Now I do wanna mention fractions can be written as decimals and decimals can be written as fractions. So it's good to be familiar with both. And fourths are common, so knowing the fractional and decimal forms will be helpful. I have some notes in the corner right here for this. One fourth equals 25 hundredths. Two fourths, which is one half, equals five tenths. And then three fourths equals 75 hundredths. And if you're wondering why one half only goes to the tenths place, why we only have five tenths there, well, we can write it as 0 0.50, so 50 hundredths. But remember, zeros to the right of a decimal are not needed, so we can just write it as five tenths. So let's write one fourth in decimal form as well. So this is 25 hundredths. Let's move on to number three, where we have point C which is right here. Point C is between one and two. So this is one and one fourth, one and a half, and then one and three fourths. So point C is at one and three fourths on the number line, which as a decimal is one decimal 75. So one and 75 hundredths. Next, we have point D, which is right here between negative two and negative three. So we have negative two and one fourth, negative two and two fourths, which is negative two and a half, and then negative two and three fourths. So point D is at negative two and a half on the number line. 
which in decimal form is negative 2.5. So negative 2 and 5 tenths. And then we can wrap up this first number line with number 5. We have point E, which is right here. And we are in between 0 and negative 1. We have negative 1 fourth, negative 2 fourths, or negative 1 half, and then negative 3 fourths. So point E is at negative 3 fourths on the number line. Written as a decimal, we have negative 0 0.75. So negative 75 hundredths. Let's move on to numbers 6 through 10, where we will be working with a different number line. So starting at 0 and going to the right, it looks like we have fifths here. So we have 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 1, and then so on. Moving to the left, we have negative 1 fifth, negative 2 fifths, negative 3 fifths, negative 4 fifths, negative 1, and so on. So looking at number six, we have point V, which is right here. Point V is at zero on the number line. Moving on to number seven, we have point W, which is right here. Point W is in between zero and negative one. We have negative one fifth, negative two fifths, negative three fifths, negative four fifths, and then negative one. So point W is at negative two fifths on the number line. And then as far as fifths, here are the decimal forms. So negative two fifths is negative four tenths. Moving on to number eight, we have point X, which is right here. So point X is in between one and Two. We have one and one fifth, one and two fifths, one and three fifths, and then one and four fifths. So point X is at one and four fifths on the number line, which in decimal form is one decimal eight. So one and eight tenths. Next, for number nine, we have point Y, which is right here. So again, we are between one and two. So this is at one and one fifth. So one and one fifth for point Y. And in decimal form, this equals one decimal two. So one and two tenths. And then lastly, point Z, is right here in between negative one and negative two. So this is negative one and one fifth, negative one and two fifths, negative one and three fifths, and then negative one and four fifths. So point Z is at negative one and three fifths on the number line, which equals negative one decimal six, so negative one and six tenths in decimal form. So there you have it. There's how to identify rational numbers on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.